Hey y'all, this is Jenny. How are you? I know it's been a minute, so I don't know if this video will go up first or my craft room update. I'm not sure which one I'll post first, but um, I've just been working in my craft room, getting it everything sorted. I'm talking about hours a day off and on in the past few weeks. And if you've been following me, you know this has been years that I've been trying to do all this, but I've really been just focusing, trying to get the things done. So I'm finally at a place where I feel like I can film again and I still have um, a fairy journal collection I never shared that I started in the spring, didn't finish till summer. Mid it's still summer, y'all. I'm in Alabama and it is hot, so hot, <laughs> but it is the end of August. It is almost September. So by saying, I mean, you know, in my brain, it's almost fall, even though it does not feel fall at all. But my point is, it's been a couple months. I still have not shared those journals, so I'm going to um, share those because I'm shipping one off. But um, I have several haul videos I need to do from yard sales and estate sales over the past few weeks. So, yeah, I'm getting back in the groove of filming again and creating again. And I will still work on my craft room, but I'm at a place right now where I feel comfortable stopping doing it all day every day so yeah let's get in with this haul so um hobby lobby i mean you know i started seeing the hauls pop up last week and i'm like man like anytime <laughs> i try to catch those i'm always too late but i did find a few things i'm super excited i went so this is monday the 28th i believe and so i went friday or saturday i don't remember if it was friday or saturday but I told my husband, I'm like, we have to stop in Hobby Lobby <laughs> we were out getting groceries. <laughs> because, you know, there's things that I need, you know. He's like, I'm sure you need them. But, yeah, so I went in to get me, um, I didn't realize the wooden stamps were on sale. And, y'all, you know I make prayer journals. And so I've been buying these up a little at a time, the different, different Bible verses. But um, I've gotten up, I don't know, six or seven, but... I usually do them when they're 40% off and I still pay anywhere from three to, you know, six bucks. So I was so excited when I got in there and these stamps were on clearance. Um, I went in for Tim Holtz inks. I don't have a lot of those, but obviously they had already sold. They had two left, one of each color. I was excited, but I was, I mean, I was bummed at first and I'm like, no, I'm thankful that I found these two. So, um, for $1.49 each, I got the Stormy Sky and Crackling Campfire. So, I was excited because I didn't have either one of these colors. But I wanted this Crackling Campfire for sure. So, that was exciting for me. Um, they did have several of the Stay Zone ones on clearance. But, again, I was trying to stick to like a $20, $25 budget in my head. So, I was trying not to this is why you should write down the colors you have or take a picture maybe I should just take a picture of the colors I have because again I don't have a whole lot of inks but I still don't really know what colors are for sure but I know I don't have a dark green so I uh, got that for a dollar eighty seven so getting into these stamps so this one is this is the day the Lord has made it was 74 cents She's clothed with strength and dignity and laughs without fear of the future. Proverbs 31, 25, 74 cents. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, John 3, 16, 69 cents. Y'all, I was so excited. It makes all things work for the good of those who love him. Romans 8, 28. A dollar twenty-four, and then this one. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. That was sixty-nine cents. So when we got home later that day, my sister, she she lives down in our downstairs, and she had packaged me up this cute little bag and and said, "I left you a prize on the stairs." She put them on the stairs, and so she had went too and she had grabbed me up a couple um 
so I did not get this one. I was so excited because there were so many more, but I had to, you know, choose. So she had got me this one and then this one, which I had already gotten. So I will gift this. And then speaking of my sister, I had gotten her a pack of these. They only had two packs left. I mean, and I'm not somebody who's going to buy up a million. I'll only buy what I'll use or need for most things. But, like, if they had a duplicate, I, I usually pick them up for her or my best crafty friend. So, they were a dollar twelve. the little bitty labels. And they had tons of these left. Um... But again, I didn't want to buy them just because I thought I had to have them. I've done that in the past. There's no point in that for me after <laughs> sorting through my craft room for days and days and days. You know, I, I try to buy what I think that I will use. So, this was um, snow cap and, I mean, I guess just a dark black. But I thought these might be cute to do ink splatters on... Um, scrapbook layouts with so I only picked this one again I mean if I were spending more money I could have seen me grabbing some of the others I didn't grab any for my sister or anyone because I feel like they have these and I don't know what color you know what I'm saying but they had so many to choose from that I feel like these don't sell out at my hobby all as quick as things like this um so here's my total it was 25 26.95 um I grabbed this. I had seen Liana on, um, or maybe Liana. I think it's Liana. On um, it's a deal. I love her hauls, and she hauled this last year, or maybe in the springtime. I think. And it's just Scotch tape, but it's like holographic Scotch tape. Again, the only one they had. But look, I'll probably never be able to open it. That's why it's on clearance. <laughs> I can't find the thing to start it, but so see, you see that? It's like iridescent. How cute is that? That better work or I'm going to be mad. So again, the last pack of these, each of these, but a dollar eighty-seven. I was so excited because I don't have any mushroom. Not just the plain, just little mushroom stamps. And Lynette, if you're watching, I would have grabbed you one, even though I know you have mushroom stamps, but you know you can't have too many mushroom stamps. But it was the only one. <laughs> I'm hoping next week, maybe, sometimes they'll put out things again, you know. The leaves. Like, look how cute for fall these would be. Or I guess you could do them in green for the spring, but... So cute. I got a pack of the red flowers. I was like sad. I buy these. I repurchase these flowers all the time and all the colors. And I was like, are they clearancing those out? Maybe they're just repackaging them. So y'all, I never ever find these, especially Prima. Again, the last pack. But I grabbed these. How pretty. $1.74. And these are Paper Studio, but... And they did it. They had a few more different types of flowers. Like these were the last of these. But if they still have them left, I could see me snatching up a few different ones. But I grabbed these because I know y'all don't care. But I like hearing what people's ideas are sometimes behind their purchase. I mean, if we're just justifying it, no, you don't care. But I have an idea. <laughs> so I can... My daughter's best friend's getting married at the end of this year. And her colors are, you know, are these muted fall type colors so I wish that I had a couple more packs of those because I was like I want to make her a junk journal and these would be so pretty for her wedding album and then for 99 cents they had these little backgrounds how fun for like bobble journal layouts or even scrapbook layouts like they're like the little textured little bubbles in a circle the paint swat. I really, really, I've been wanting a set like this for a while. And so, getting into just a couple more, like, yard sale finds, I figured this would be super short. So, um, I 
thought I would put a quick yard sale call in with these. Actually, actually, it's just yard sales for the most part that I only snatched up like one thing, and so this would be the perfect video to include it in. So this, I got a few things from this yard sale, but um, this I've been, y'all, I'm trying to film all these hauls so I can actually use the things instead of keeping them stacked up <laughs> over beside me. And I've gotten so many like craft room little trays or storage things lately. I need to do a video just on the storage items, but um, so yeah, this was a plate. It was a church yard sale to raise money for um, my adopted son, I call him, to go to ministry school. But so, this, I mean, obviously we priced things reasonably, but some things were a little, we priced a little higher. Like, so this was like, I didn't know Longer Burger had a pottery. I don't know if it's the same one, but you know, this, so this was priced a little higher. It was 10 bucks. I could have given them five, but again, it was, you know, it was, some things were just priced just because of, you know, what it was. So, of course, obviously, I mean, I was fine with doing that. I say all that to say I could have paid four or five bucks for it, but, it, so, but I love it. Now, it does have some scratches if you were a reseller, but to set it on my tray and put little crafty bits in, love it. And I actually thought about hanging this on my gallery wall in my living room. Um, I have, like, needlepoint and oil paintings of nature and stuff. I might hang it in there at some point, but right now it's my little crafty tree. Um, I grabbed these at an estate sale Saturday for 25 cents a piece. You know, they had a little sunflower pack. And when I got home, I was like, why, why did I not grab the sunflower pack? So these little dragonfly, I love that green of those envelopes too. Look how cute. Just little blank note cards. And then these. These look like Mary Ingle brought to me, but I don't believe they are. These, these made me think of my friend Joanne. I thought of you when I saw these. And my sister and Lynette, like these are literally y'all, but how cute are these? Happiness is a habit, cultivate it. These are so cute, like they're 3D. So it was a quarter and there were four left in there. So hey, I mean, you know, that's great pricing. And then I have a couple more little trays these were at two separate um, yard sales. So this one I actually had sitting beside my kitchen sink with my dish detergent and a little scrubby in it, but it's just, a, it's kind of like a paper mache. I don't know what it, I mean, maybe a little, maybe it's a metal, it's old, very old. I do think I paid her like, it was under $2. It may have been $2 for this, but I loved it. I loved how old and worn it was. And then this one, this little metal one, I got at a different yard sale. Oh, I remember which yard sale I got this at now. So I do have a whole haul for this one. But anyways, so I only paid like 25 cents for this. Oh, y'all, I love these little floral trays. There's the little stamp on the back of that. So yeah, that is my Hobby Lobby and my quick yard sale haul for today. So I hope you will like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to make some videos again. So just hit that notification bell and you'll see when I upload another haul or my craft room update tour coming soon or maybe before this one. I'm not sure. <laughs> Either way, thank y'all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.